Hello friends, welcome to this video. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, as you read from the title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I eat in a day. And it is actually going to be like what I eat in a day. Like not just breakfast, not partially. I'm going to be showing you guys today what I eat for breakfast, what I will be making for lunch, and what I will be making for dinner tonight. I've never done a video like this, I don't think, where like I've showed you throughout the whole day what I've eaten. I, I don't... I don't recall ever doing a video like that. I know in the past I have gotten many questions asking if I could do a video like this. And I just, I just, I don't know. Yeah, that's what's going to be happening today. Um, I'm really excited. I'm also really hungry. So I'm going to go jump, jump. I'm going to go jump to the kitchen. Can you imagine? I'm going to jump right into this video. But before I begin, as always, if you guys want to be friends outside of YouTube, my social media accounts will all be up here. And they will also be in the description box as well for you to follow me or don't. That's entirely up to you. But... Yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and go eat, I guess. Hello, friends. We are in my kitchen. I'm going to be making some breakfast. I have planned to make some scrambled eggs with grape tomatoes, some spinach, and then some cheese. Actually, Lewis and I just did groceries, and we picked up some dairy-free cheese. So I guess you can... Would you call this vegan cheese? But um, I'm lactose intolerant and I can't really like consume too much dairy. I've switched over to dairy-free ice cream, dairy-free milk or almond milk I should say. And cheese was the only thing that I was like still kind of eating. I know it's bad and I know I shouldn't but I've been looking for alternatives. I'm going to put it in my omelet and then I'm going to have some hash browns and some smoked sausage. Ooh, some smoked sausage. I just took a little smoke break. I went outside real quick, and so I'm looking forward, <laughs> looking forward to breakfast, and then um, probably gonna watch some Degrassi. I don't know if you hear it, but I've been watching Degrassi like nonstop religiously, and it's just such an amazing show. Not only that, like it's just a throwback, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook. Okay. By the way, this is my stove right here. I don't really cook on my stove. I cook almost everything on here. Like, I'll grill sandwiches on here. I'll make burgers on here. Um, my hash browns, I'll put them on here. My eggs, I'll make my eggs on here. Everything. So, this this is amazing. Okay, I'm going to have to try to put my hair up. But, yeah, I'm going to have to put my hair up. So, first of all, don't mind my burnt skillet. I know it looks dirty, but it's just burnt, okay? But, for breakfast today, I am making some shredded hash browns these are my shit oh my god wow um while those cook though i'm gonna make some scrambled eggs and normally i'll just eat two eggs and um i tend to take out the yolk in one of them um and just keep like the egg whites because there is a lot of cholesterol in egg yolk the more you know but i also like to add some milk to my eggs because that makes them fluffier and not as dry I also tend to add cherry tomatoes to my eggs because cherry tomatoes are fire and I noticed that ever since the quarantine started, I've been appreciating cherry tomatoes way, way more. I actually don't mind eating them just like that. They're very sweet, but I will add those to my eggs and I'm also going to be adding some spinach because greens are so important and I like to just add them to my breakfast and um, yeah, I'm going to get that cooked up and just let that go add my spinach i'm also gonna be adding some non-dairy cheese and i've been on the hunt for some non-dairy cheese but we tend to grocery shop at like jewel tony's aldi and you know you can't really find fancy vegan alternatives at those stores but we discovered a new grocery store that had vegan cheese and it's like not whole foods can you believe that <laughs> and i was like hell yeah we're gonna get this and it's affordable hell yes i'm tired of the damn stomach pains so with my eggs i'll either make turkey bacon or turkey smoked sausage i know it's a lot of turkey happening but we don't really eat pork, or at least I don't, but today I chose the smoked sausage because it sounded fire.
I'm full, but it's a good full. I am. I can't even talk. I'm about to edit a video. I might go thrifting with my sister today, so I will check back in. I'll see y'all. Hello! It is the next day. Um, yesterday I filmed what I ate for lunch, but I looked at the footage and the lighting was horrible. Like, my kitchen light is on. It wasn't on yesterday when I was filming, so the background was really, really shadowy. And now I'm realizing that my light makes a difference. So anyways, it is the next day and I'm just going to show you guys what I'm making for lunch today, I guess. I'm making avocado pasta, which I've actually never made before, but I seen it on Pinterest and I was like, let's try this. I store my pasta in this little container. Well, it's not little, but this container. We're the house of DIYs, by the way, if you guys did not know. When the water starts boiling, I'm going to go ahead and put the pasta in and then I'll probably start cutting up the avocado just so I have it ready and um, getting like the, I don't have lemons, so I'm going to use lime. I think in the video she uses lemon, but I'm going to use lime and then a little bit of salt and we'll see how it turns out. I've never tried this once again, so hopefully it comes out really good because this low key looks really good. <laughs> While the water is boiling, what I'm going to do is make some ginger water. I ran out and to be honest, I don't love it, but I know it's good for me and you know, it has many benefits. My sister actually was the one who said that she's been drinking it, but I think she mixes it with other stuff. I put my glasses back on. I am blind and I am sorry if the glare is annoying to you. It definitely is annoying to me, but... I, I can't see. Okay, so the pot I wanted to use is dirty, so we're gonna use this big ass pot and yeah. So when it comes to ginger water, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is boil some water. I'm gonna put as much as I think I will use because the container that I have my water in um, is just this basic like juice bottle, I guess, which I am now using for ginger water. So you're gonna fill up a pot of water, put it on the stove, let it boil, and well not boil entirely but i'm gonna get it started at least that way i can cut up the ginger okay so i have my ginger here i already rinsed it and i'm just gonna start cutting it into smaller pieces i don't know why i'm doing this i just feel like this just makes sense and once everything's all cut up i'll go ahead and include them into the water which is already starting to boil All right, so I'm just gonna let the ginger infuse in the water and I'll let this boil for a little bit. And once it's done boiling, I will let it cool, obviously, and then refrigerate it and it'll be ready to go. As far as my pasta goes, it is still not ready. So I'm gonna let that continue. I'll probably go catch up on some Degrassi, I guess. So the pasta's done boiling. I'm gonna strain it. I don't have a strainer, so I'm just gonna use my cutting board. I just place it over and drain it like that. Okay, so I've been trying to mash my avocados for I don't know how long, and it's just not working. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this mashed potato masher, and hopefully this, oh, there we go. Okay, the masher definitely saved me a lot of time. So this girl put paprika, garlic powder, and salt in her little avocado mix. And by the way, this is the video that I'm referring to. I found it on Pinterest. I watch TikToks on Pinterest more than I watch TikToks on actual TikTok. And I just, I don't know. I have a board where I put like a whole bunch of food stuff and I come across these little TikToks on there and I just save them, but. So yeah, she used, um, I think her name is Faye something. Faye Brunel, that's the girl 
who I'm doing this based off. I don't know if she made this or if she created this. I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika. I don't know how much she put in there, but put a little tiny bit. Garlic powder, same, just a little bit. A little bit of salt. Just gonna add the pasta. I don't know if this is how she did it, but I'm just gonna put it all in the same bowl and then just mix and hope that it works out. Okay, new plan. I have this tub of work. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour everything in here. Take the lid, close it up. It's gonna shake it up. Hopefully this is a faster way. I, I feel like it will be. Yep. Yep. Actually, let me try it real quick. Oh, hold on! Why is that fire? Hold on. Y'all cannot tell me that this doesn't look fire. Okay, so I feel like something's missing, but I, I'm just, this is my first time making it. So over time, I guess I'll just like figure out what to add to it. But that low-key looks bomb. So I'm about to devour the hell out of that. And while I eat my lunch, I'm going to let the water cool. I turn the water off. So hopefully by the time I'm done, it'll be cooled. Hopefully, I doubt it, but we'll see. And cankles. Hmm. Well, then maybe we should debate testing for psychosis in herpes infected teens. Stupid. That shit was fire. Wow. A plus. Go me. Mm hmm. So I just finished lunch and the water is pretty much cool, or at least it's not scorching hot like it was before. I'm gonna pour it into this measuring cup and then from there I'll pour it into the container. I poured it in a measuring cup because the measuring cup has this little like lip here that makes pouring a lot less messy. So I'm gonna just pour it into the container. Oh, the container. Hello again, friends. How are we doing? Did you miss me? Sorry that the lighting is getting kind of uh. I mean, all day today it's been kind of that way, but it's currently 6.30 and I am going to just start making dinner. Louis should be on his way home soon, so I thought I would just get it started. That way by the time he gets here, it'll be almost done, if not done already. I have some chicken breasts here. I'm gonna make some chicken breasts and Louis's mom actually made some rice that she brought for us. So I'm probably gonna heat that up. It's just some white rice, so yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I feel kinda out of it. I don't know why. This like subtle not subtle. This sudden wave of like sleepiness almost. Okay, so with whatever olive oil I have left, which isn't much, I'm just gonna pour that into the pan. I might as well pour all of it because there's not a whole lot in there anyways going to let that warm up so i was actually talking during this part but the mic was covered so it sounded real muffled but i'm just gonna season my chicken with some paprika i also use garlic and onion powder and some lemon pepper oh my god i love me some lemon pepper and definitely some sazonador i don't really measure any of it i kind of just eyeball it i don't know that's just how i was taught and i'm sure a lot of people can relate And then of course we can't forget veggies so I am just going to open up some green beans and I also cut up some avocado because avocado is fire and Louis actually reminded me uh, that we had some and he's like it's gonna go good with dinner so now for the rice because it was frozen I just put it on the pan added some water and I put a little bit of paprika a little bit of lemon pepper and a teeny teeny tiny little bit of salt and then just mixed it up and this is what we're working with That shit was so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I'm watching Degrassi. Mm. What an evening. What an evening. And my ginger water. Mm. 
what an evening so i just finished eating lewis in the shower he um he's gonna eat after he gets out the shower me i couldn't wait surprisingly i was really hungry like i slammed that shit that shit was oof. Mm, so good okay so um I really hope you enjoyed this video. I, I'm going to look back at the footage now to see how everything turned out. But let me know if I should do another video like this, what I eat in a day type of video. I am definitely down to do more videos like this. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, my camera died. But I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!